James from Brick It Out. Welcome back into another Lego haul. It's James from Brick It Out. Went to the Lego store today without my lovely co-pilot and wife. We had a bunch of things we had to do, so we had to divide and conquer today. And, um, and all the excitement of going to the Lego store and getting everything else done that we needed to get done today, I forgot my camera microphone so I couldn't film at the Lego store like I did the first time that we went but the end result still the same we got some nice Lego sets here to show you guys when I came back home I had noticed that there was these yellow Amazon bubble wrap envelopes at our doorstep so we had ordered a couple things on Amazon as you can tell and we're about to show you exactly what's in there. And here we go. Amazon envelope package number one. I don't know why Amazon did this, but they sent them in separate packages. There, that's a nice box actually. You can see that. That's uh, I love the artwork on that. That's really cool. There's the actual back of the box there. Official Lego set number 77905. Taskmasters Ambush. 230 pieces. Originally supposed to be for the Comic-Con release. But now we have it. That's great. Um, this is a set that we wanted definitely. We wanted to try to get all these... Uh, Comic-Con sets that we could get. This was on Amazon. Um, and I believe they're sold out now. I happened to stumble upon it. And there was a few left. So we grabbed two of them. Um, so that, as you can probably guess, there's no surprise as to what's in this package. It would just be a second set. These were $39.99 each plus tax, USD. I have to tell you, I'm really impressed with the color scheme and the artwork on those boxes. Very nice. You can see the Black Widow, Widow minifigure there, straight on. Then going around to the back, I'll even give you a better look than the first look. Pretty neat. This looks really, this is going to be a fun build. So this is what we got from Amazon today. I don't know if there was a quantity of how many you could get. I just got two. We're definitely going to build one and keep the other one for later down the line. Which is pretty much what we're doing with the Despin Duel that we had or the uh, Wonder Woman set. Okay, let's go ahead and move these completely out of the way right now so we can get into what's actually in the bags. Okay, starting with bag number one. I'll pull out the free items that we got, which these are out there a lot right now. We got two of the Mindstorms and one of the uh, Polybag robot set there. That was what we got free for... Uh, Actually, we should have probably got another one of these, but they ran out down there. So that's what we got for the sets that's in these bags. I think I've shown these before when we got the last Lego haul. So we have several of these guys. Official Lego set 40413. Mini robots, 366 pieces. You can build five different models of these. There's the back. Pretty nice little set. I don't know what we'll do with them. I mean, we might keep one and build, the rest sell. We'll, we'll see. Um, let me get these out of the way here, then I'll show you exactly what's in the first big set out of this bag. This is a set that I was shocked that LEGO did, but very happy that they did. My wife and I are huge fans of this theme and this genre, and we just are very, very happy to get this set. It's going to go complement nicely the other set that we have that's very similar. And that is the Batwing. Official Lego set 76161. 2,363 pieces. 
and it is an 18 plus set. And I love the 1989 Batwing that looks just like the exact letters and stuff that they used for the movie. It's really cool. This set, from what I hear, is humongous. Like, it, I think it's even wider than the Batmobile, which we do have the 1989 Batmobile. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing a review of the 1989 Batmobile along with this set once we build it. So be sure to look out for that video. Moving around to the back, you can see just how massive the Batmobile is. I'm sorry, the Batwing is. Well, the Batmobile is massive too. You have the stand down here. It shows you how you can raise the Batwing. Shows it there on the wall. That is just really cool. That is so, and we might mount it on the wall, we'll have to see. But the many, the many figures in this, you have the Batman, Michael Keaton's Batman. You have the Joker from that scene where he says the pen is mightier than the sword there at City Hall. That was kind of interesting that they put that Joker in with this set. Um, and then, you, of course, you have the guy, one of his henchmen, with the boombox. Which, I'll tell you why I think that that's interesting that they chose to do the henchmen and that particular Joker. The reason why is because, as we've all seen the movie, this here, now this guy was at the scene with the Joker in the movie, where he threw the pen at City Hall. But it just seems to me that the Batwing wasn't in that scene. So I'm kind of surprised that they chose those figures to go with. Um, because promoting the Batwing would have been something that you would think that would be towards the end of the movie when the Batwing wasn't seen till the end of the movie. Um, so that's just my personal opinion. It could just be a small petty thing, which I'm sure it is. But again, you know, makes you wonder. As far as the box, though, this box is beautiful. I love how shiny it is. The, the design of this is just perfect. I think this is, this is something that we just cannot wait to start building. This is just packed with details, right off the bat. Just look at the details there. You got the bombs from in the movie, you got the, ro the, the Gatling guns that rotate. I wonder if they're gonna pop out or they just clip on, that's gonna be really cool. Very, very, the likeness of this is really cool compared to what was actually in the movie, just from looking at the front of the box. I really have to say, I like these 18 plus sets that Lego's putting out. I guess they're the new creator expert, I believe. I'm, I'm not really sure on that, but. I know that creator expert is retiring, so. Um, another thing on the back of the box, look at how crisp that picture is of this Batwing. It looks like you could literally just take your hand and grab it and pull it right out of the box art. They, you can tell they spent some time to get it to look like that. It's so glossy. The fit and finish of this is just perfect, this box. Um, and that's a testament to Lego. They really do a great job, especially on this 1989 Batmobile and then now the Batwing. I also like this, which I believe this is also on the box of the 1989 Batmobile, but I love seeing Michael Keaton, the outline of, uh, of his face with the, uh, the Batman cowl in there. Really awesome. Okay, and last but not least, let's get out the big boy. This is a set that my wife and I have been wanting, ever since we started first collecting Lego, which has been four and a half, five years ago, I believe, over four years ago. And this is a set that was always out of reach and as far as financially goes. And it's a set that's very hard to find. You know, Lego's been out of it consistently for a very long time. And that is the Star Wars Death Star. Back of the box, turn around to see the front. Get that out of the way. Look at that. There is a little bit of damage on the bottom left corner where Disney, where the Disney logo is, and it does kind of go around to the side where it might have been dropped. But overall, I think the box is in pretty good condition. Um, and box condition is something that we really appreciate. I mean, some people don't 
care about the box edition. And yeah, what's in the box, the contents of it is what's the most important, but we like to see a good looking box. This, I can't even begin to tell you guys how excited we are to build this set and do a review of it. This set's even been talked about in other movies. It's just such an iconic set. And of course, it's getting ready to retire. I think it's retiring sometime in December, maybe January of this coming year. It doesn't have long left. And um, we are very happy to get this. The Lego store happened to have one of them left and we were just there at the right time. I'm sorry, I was there at the right time. And this is just a, a great find. I love the fact that you have 23 different minifigures. Three different Luke Skywalkers in there. Two different Han Solos. The Princess Leia. Chewbacca. C-3PO. R2-D2. Darth Vader. Palpatine. They're all there. That is really cool. 23 iconic minifigures for this set. Now going around to the back of the box. You can see the different pictures that, that depict the different scenes from the movie that's peppered throughout this Death Star. Just so cool. This is just so cool. Luke saving Princess Leia there, swinging. And the Stormtroopers, a little mini TIE fighter there. I just love this. This is definitely our favorite set now, for sure. Official Lego set number 75159, in case I didn't already say that. 4,016 pieces. Guys, if you can get this, I thought I saw it at Walmart available, maybe even Target. Try to pick this up because this is going to retire and this set is going to go big. When this thing retires, it's going to go very, very high up. Whether you're keeping it or for an investment set, or I'm sure most people will build it, this is definitely gonna be the set to have. Okay, let's move this over here so we can get everything up on the table so you guys can see everything at once. Black Widow sets. But I think that's definitely a uh, worthwhile trip to the Lego store and to Amazon. How about you? Let us know in the comments below if you guys have any of these sets. Um, I know a lot of people have the Death Star. We were very excited again to get the Batwing, but the Death Star obviously still is a show. We just, I just still can't believe that that was at the Lego store. And I got there about an hour and a half after they opened. So for that to be sitting there, I wonder if someone brought it back and exchanged it or if it was held for someone and they didn't come in and get it for some weird reason. Uh, it's just rare to see that in the store, at least for the times that we've been to the Lego stores. So let us know what you guys think in the comments below. Please, as always, like, share, and subscribe. It really does help support the channel. Um, hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss any of our new videos. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day, and we'll see you guys on the next one.